welcome back to part two of this topic. So we'll keep going with our hierarchy right now. You guys should be pretty much at the same point, uh, at the same point where I am. Um, so we'll just keep going. We've got the chest right here, which we can parent as one. I don't think we'll need much more than that for this one. Um, let's call this chest. Fluff master. And over here we have the vest, which we had previously deactivated. Um, for the vest, we have a few pieces that are going to be invert cut inside the torso right here, notably the belly right here. So what we can do is group up these three. If need be, we can always add more later on or underneath or above um, if we want to move just the vest by itself. But right now I think having just these pieces will be pretty handy for us um, to be able to move them as one. So we have called the belly master peg. And we have the torso, torso which will probably uh, be controlled along with these two uh, later on, not underneath, but above as a single piece. So it could be a good idea to create a peg and connect these together to control them as one. So this is going to be the torso full. And then moving on, we have the crotch line right here. We have the hips and the tail, which is behind right here. So already, as you can see, the tail should probably be connected behind the legs. So as you start moving things like these, you'll start realizing um, how, you know, little mistakes that we've made here and there. So you probably want to connect that behind the feet and behind the legs. So here we have our tail, our hips, the hips and uh, the crotch and the tail could be joined by their own peg. So to be able to move this entire area right here as one, let's call it the hips master and moving on one of the last pieces that we have is both legs right here um, for the legs we are going to keep the foot attached to the entire leg at the moment this is going to be uh, the way that we decide to do it sometimes we want to do uh, a bit of a hybrid where we want the foot to be detached uh, we do have a tutorial in Rigging 2 that shows how to create a detached foot. Later on, if you want to go ahead and do that um, by following the previous tutorials, you can go ahead and do so. But uh, in Rigging 3, we will mostly be keeping the foot attached to the leg. So with this one, we have the foot under, which is a little piece that I've created to uh, invert cut inside the feet if we need to see the bottom of the foot. And we have these three here that can be controlled as my foot front master. So one peg to control the entire thing. And I have the ankle spot which will be invert cut inside the leg right here so we can join these two together and let's call that the leg front master here we have it and of course then we have the thigh so we want the thigh to control the legs so we will be grouping up these two with their own peg 
Again, the reason why I'm keeping the original ones and not just connecting uh, like so is that I need to be able to scale or skew each object individually. And this becomes all the more uh, true in uh, a rotating rig because we really need to adjust every single piece as we rotate the character. So we want to be sure that we have that, uh, that amount of flexibility. So we have our thigh, front, master, and we'll of course have the foot attached to that, same as uh, with the hand, so it's a similar structure. The foot, which is attached to the leg, which is attached to the thigh. So all of these three, you can do the same thing over on the other side. Um, and that goes for each of the arms uh, and the rest if you haven't done so already. And then we can uh, continue in part three of this video where we build the rest of the hierarchy all the way up to the master peg.